Certainly we all can agree that what happened last week on November 13th of 2015 in Paris was absolutely horrific. And with that in mind, I'm going to be doing all of the PS and 30s this week with some photo of a Vista from Paris. So with that in mind, let's get started. The first thing we're going to take a look at is how to add grain to a photo. This is my favorite way to add grain to a photo. It's just something I haven't seen done much. Um, here's how you do it. You add a new layer, a blank empty layer, and then you go edit, fill, and choose to fill with contents of 50% gray. Great. Then we're going to go filter, noise, add noise. We're going to add about 20% of noise. You want to make sure it's uniform and make sure also that you check on monochromatic. Great. We've got our first bit of noise. We're going to set the blend mode of this layer to soft light. Then we're going to hit the hotkey Command or Control J to duplicate the layer. It really pumps up the uh, the noise, which we don't necessarily want. We're going to adjust it by hitting Command or Control T to free transform this noise, where we're going to set the width to 200% and the height also to 200%. Go ahead and commit that change. And what we need to do now is load the entire document as a selection by hitting Command or Control A. And we're going to go Image Crop. The reason we're doing that is because we had a ton of additional unused noise all out here and it really bloats your file. So that's just a quick and easy way to crop all of that away. Now all you need to do is reduce the opacity of both layers to something like 20% um, or until you have the amount of noise that you want. And the larger noise mixed with the smaller noise really gives a very natural, gritty, grainy look. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.